So we had lunch and rested a bit and now we want to go to a beach in um, uh, Sao Martinho do Porto. It's not far away, it's like half an hour. Yeah, we are not gonna really bathe in the sea, well maybe a bit. So we are now in São Martinho do Porto, which is a village town uh, with an own beach on a bay. Um, I didn't check if it's a very famous place or not, but my like I have the impression it's more like a vacation village. And since it's windy and not so warm right now, around this time of the year, I don't think there will be many tourists. Seven ra railways here next to the houses. This hotel was uh, abandoned. Imagine being here at night. This one in Alcobasa doesn't look so expensive because the others, well, they are quite expensive. But like you need to do the walls and the floor. So this is how the beachfront looks. empty because it's not so warm and it's very windy So, we just reached the other side of the bay, walking. It was quite nice. And the water is a bit warmer than uh, in other beaches where there's no bay, where you just have the Atlantic Ocean. It makes sense. And the sand is warm, soft. We like it. Now we need to walk all the way back. Tricky to the tent. We'll take it easy. So we just had a lovely walk on the beach, but now it's looking stormy. Uh, before a 
I mean we might go now because it's gonna rain but before that we might get an ice cream uh, here at, uh, at an ice cream shop uh, directly on the beachfront and then yeah we will go to the car we need to change our clothes and then we'll see if we if we leave uh, this place or if we stay for a little while Gelato shop here at the beachfront. Gelato money. Let's see how they are. They were seven euros for both, so expensive uh, for Portugal. But uh, yeah, maybe it's worth the price. So we decided to stay a bit longer in San Martinho do Porto. We saw there's a municipal market. It's closed. But we're just gonna check it out to see how it looks. It must be a square with some monument or something. And then, uh, yeah, we can go back to the Airbnb. National Hotel. Here it's not really close to the beach, but maybe a five minute walk. So, this is the market of San, Mar San Martino do Porto. This is how it looks. It's of course closed today, but because it's Friday, they open tomorrow in the morning at 8 a.m. Yeah, but this is how it looks, and that's over there the church. Well. I think we've already seen enough of San Martino do Porto and it's starting to rain again so we're just gonna go to the Airbnb and uh, prepare dinner and yeah tomorrow like we only have tomorrow and Sunday on Monday we already uh, drive to Toledo in the morning so we'll try to make the most out of the weekend and enjoy the time here in Portugal for the Super 95 199 for the 98 so we are back at the Airbnb unfortunately where we usually park it was full so we just parked somewhere else and now yeah we're gonna make dinner and uh, rest a bit, edit more videos. So, and that's it for the day. How are you doing, Klee?
So that was basically our day. Tomorrow, I don't know, we do not have many more places left to go. Uh, maybe we go to the market in Alcobasa. Maybe there's some place left to go that is not Lisbon. That might be a that might be worth a trip. But for now, I think we've visited all important places.